Hey guys, before the video gets started, I want to give a huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what SeatGeek is already, it's an app that you're able to buy tickets on for sporting events, concerts, events, and more. Uh, you're able to see a price score, so it basically gives you a score based on how good the seat is compared to its price, so you can get some good deals there. Um, they also give you a view, so you're able to see what you'll actually be seeing. Uh, so if you're sitting in uh, the Barclays Center, you can know if you have a, a bar in the way. So it's very, very helpful. Um, you get the tickets right on your phone. Phone, super useful and if you use the code SOD uh, in your account information as you guys can see there uh, you actually get $20 off so definitely go check out the link down below and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy hey guys what is up it's Side 20 here or Lucas guys another NHL 18 hockey ultimate team video that is right and today we are starting on episode number one of the no money spent road to glory as you guys can probably guess the series is pretty self-explanatory this is the road to glory I'm gonna try and get all the way to division one trying to get the best team possible without spending money or getting any points from EA like I do on PlayStation 4. I really wanted to do this series because one, it, this is by far the best year for the free to play player. And I think that it's uh, a nice change of pace for me personally. I spend a lot of money, I get points from EA on my PlayStation, on my main account where I stream and upload pack open and stuff like that. Um, so it's a good change of pace and kind of get the grind going for myself. And without further ado, let's get it started. Like I said, I am on Xbox One for this Road to Glory. Uh, I just wanted to differentiate the two because uh, I do have the Xbox One here, so I might as well use it for a series. Uh, it's much easier than making a, a whole separate PlayStation account, getting PSN Plus, getting all that stuff. So I uh, just decided to do it on Xbox One. Team name, don't be sad, 20. Uh, I actually reset my account, so I was able to get my name. Don't you worry. Uh, but we are, like I said, no money spent, simple stuff. Uh, I am opening up my starter pack here. Nothing too crazy, as always. Uh, we do get a Brent Seabrook, which is a decent defenseman. Can be a first-pairing defenseman for a little while here. Uh, also get Ryan Kessler, who's actually a really good center to start off. Uh, a really good And we get Logan Shaw as our other gold card. But, uh, yeah. So, quickly looking at the team, I kind of just went through and started arranging the team. And um, I kind of want to give you guys my mindset when I started this whole thing. I just wanted to get... First thing, I wanted to get all right-handed players on the left side like I normally do and all left-handed players on the right side like I normally do and then try to get the best uh, centers possible. Um, at this point, I wasn't really too concerned with overall. I just did whoever was in my team. Um, and in reality, for what I'm doing, I wanted to get it so that I was comfortable playing um, and that's by having righties on the, righties on the left and lefties on the right. Uh, and basically... It didn't matter how good my team was because uh, what I'm going to be doing to start off this Road to Glory is just grinding my hut challenges because uh, I think by far that's the most important thing, especially when you're starting off on Hockey Ultimate Team, uh, especially if you're new to the game. One, it allows you to get used to the controls and get used to the style of NHL 18, and you get some pretty, uh, pretty solid rewards. So uh, you guys can see here, I just beat the Detroit Red Wings, and I end up getting a gold, uh, gold pack. Uh, and doing that, I got well over 3,000 coins. And uh, as you guys will see here, that's going to build myself uh, a pretty decent uh, forward core. Uh, but I'm going to be opening up this gold pack. Nothing too crazy. Uh, and I will be doing live commentary for this eventually once I get it to online gameplay. Uh, but I'm, if I'm grinding out solos, I don't want to be live commentary. Uh, it's just uh, There's no point, really. Uh, but in our gold pack that we got for Reading the Red Wings, we actually get an 85 overall. Jonathan Huberdeau, Anna Darren Helm, Michael Kempney as well as, well as Johan Franzen. Not a bad gold pack. Uh, considering we played, what, six games? I ended up playing a couple more solo challenges before starting to build my forward core. As you guys can see there, I have over 4,500 coins, and my whole mindset with building my team is I want to get synergies. If I'm not going to be able to get the best players possible, why not boost up the lower rated players with synergies? Um, so as you guys can see, I'm currently going through the market, uh, just trying to find any players with Thread the Needle, because I think I was uh, set six away from Thread the Needle before I even started buying players. So um, decided to just complete Thread the Needle, get that speed boost, and it's probably one of the most effective synergies for lower rated cards in the game. So um, why not? And this is what we ended up getting just by completing, um, I think we got through the Dallas Stars, so I think that's about seven solo challenges offline um i mean the team's looking solid we have a solid forward core uh definitely all usable cards very very i love victor arbison in this game i used him on my main team for a while joe thornton's really good in this game so is logan couture uh and while we may not have the defensive core it doesn't really matter right now because we're still playing offline challenges and all that really matters is that we're able to score and able to uh 
keep up with that but the team is looking good just after seven challenges and we have thread the needle activated i uh, can't really ask for much more and you'll notice the theme of this video i am going to continue grinding out my solo challenges we're going to beat the philadelphia flyers here to get a gold plus pack and while we may not get anything great in that pack uh, we're going to get stuff that we're going to be able to sell using sets and stuff like that. So um, not too bad. I think this is after 11 games you get a gold plus pack and that doesn't even account for the coins that you get. So um, I don't know, man. Solo challenges were really well implemented this year. Uh, this whole team challenge thing is working out really well for most people, I like to think. Uh, so like you like you see up there, well over um, four, a little, uh, over 4,000 coins. We get a gold plus pack. Uh, I don't get anything too nuts in this gold plus pack, but nonetheless, at the end of the day, it is a free gold plus pack. We do get a milestone collectible, which hopefully we'll find out what we have a use for soon here. Uh, we do get a Kyle Turris, which we actually just bought. Uh, but an Alex Golagowski, nothing too crazy. Team of Pokemon and Josh Hoshang. Nothing too crazy, uh, but it, it's a free gold pack. Can't really complain. So after opening up that gold plus pack, we're going to start working on building our defensive core. And once again, I kind of went towards synergies. If I can get rid of some of the worst players that I have with Thread the Needle, I, it's more the better. So I ended up looking for some uh, Thread the Needle defensemen. We ended up picking up a Keith Yandel, a Hockey Fest Cancer Keith Yandel, actually. So pretty pink. Uh, but just upgrading our decor. Simple stuff. We're going to get uh, Noah Hannafin as well, a big, tall defenseman. Um, and in reality, these, these cards can honestly carry you in online gameplay i'm just gonna keep going offline uh just so i can have the best team possible when i hop into competitive seasons and online seasons uh but just kind of looking around at other defensemen uh as you guys can see i can get up to 85 overall and 84 overall with john klingberg i mean there's a lot of cards for very cheap in this game um so you really shouldn't have any any issue building up your hockey ultimate team uh just by doing solo challenges i got an 85 overall set jones for around 700 or i think it was like 800 coins uh get a rasmus versus lining here again under a thousand coins um so it's pretty nuts i ended up getting a backup goalie as well for thread the needle uh kind of just eliminating the bad players that had thread the needle on my team uh and i think that's the major part uh if you're going to do a free to play you got to focus on synergies because you probably won't have the best overall team to start but at the end of episode one this is what the team is going to end up looking like uh, I'm very excited by it. It looks very, very good. Uh, obviously, we have a souped up defensive core now with uh, 285s, a couple hockey buys, cancer, and of course, we have the Steve Mason and Cam Ward goalie tandem. So, uh, the team's looking good. Like I said, I do have Thread the Needle activated, and the team looks better than ever. Uh, I'm very excited to get this uh, series on its way. Uh, we're going to have some online gameplay here soon with the brand new competitive seasons opening up tomorrow, and uh, we're going to keep grinding solo challenges. Some new face off solo challenges just came out as well. So, it's going to be good hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did let me know down below and uh, let me know your thoughts on the series hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys didn't let me know i'll talk to you later come on